Hola! Got a lot of diverse follower groups, so just gotta make sure I cater to everyone. Hey, everybody doing today? Y'all looking healthy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all looking scrumptious. Just wanna, you know what I'm saying? I'm ugly anyway. So, we're gonna get right into it, guys. You know what I'm saying? So, today's topic is about friendships. Now, how many of y'all got solid friendships that y'all been, like, friends with for, like, five plus years, you know what I'm saying, y'all get everything locked down, you know what I'm saying, y'all think y'all the best friendship ever, you know what I'm saying, like, y'all got the trust, the loyalty, the honesty, like, all that good stuff, well, I'm gonna break it down to you today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test your friendships with your friend that you claim y'all friends with, because they may be talking about you behind your back, you know what I'm saying, you never know, so, I'm gonna test it today, but, I'm gonna have a part two of this video. So, this is going to be part one. Today, I'm just going to talk about the quantitative versus the quality of, of a friendship. Now, the quantity of a friendship, you can be friends with that person for like five or ten plus years. But, you know, y'all have been like this, more so down than up. And y'all haven't really progressed nowhere. Like, y'all haven't really rose each other up to better heights. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Versus the quality of relationship, meaning if, if you're broke and you're like stuck on the side of the road and you got a flat tire, will your friend come up there and fix your tire for you? I'm going to give you a minute to answer that. No, they probably won't, right? That's what I thought. Now, or y'all go out to dinner. Y'all go to like Chuck E. Cheese. Y'all go to dinner for, y'all go to dinner at Chuck E. Cheese. Don't judge it. Maybe some mapping sometimes. Don't get it twisted. I'm playing. <laughs> Don't play it. You know, y'all go to like Cheddar's or something. Y'all go get some food. Will your friend pay for your meal? Or oh, hold on. Will they offer? Let's, let's start there. Will they offer to pay for your meal? Start thinking about it. Will they offer it? If they don't offer it, then they, hmm. They probably plot behind your back. They probably want something that you have or a quality that you have that you don't even know yourself, but they see it in you because y'all been friends for so long to where they try to get whatever you have without you knowing that you got it. Crazy, right? So it's all about knowing that person. How well do you know your friend? There's a difference between friend, acquaintance, best friend. You know what I'm saying? There's a big difference. Got a lot of acquaintances. Like, let's say you have over five, or you know, over 4,000 friends on Facebook. How many of them do you actually know? Okay, let's say 1,000. How many do you actually know of? Probably less than half, right? You just probably added them because y'all like, oh, yeah, add me on the, on the book. You know, but you don't really know them like you think you do, huh? See, shame on y'all. I'm trying to test y'all friendships right now. Y'all, y'all playing. So, quality of a friendship meaning... They will be with you through thick and thin. The word that you at your low or whether it's you high. You know what I'm saying? They're with you through the end. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all talking about long term stuff. Like they want to help you grow. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you want that house? Okay, let me show you or help you get it by showing you some steps or helping you this kind of way or helping you that kind of way. They're just in there trying to help you whatever way possible they can. That way you can be your best self. Or the quantitative of a friend will probably go, hmm, you want a house? Okay. Well, let me step back and see if you can get it. But if you can get it, I'm going to come through and try to party with you, saying that we cool. But yet, they trying to bring their friends over, so they can party with you, but they're using your spot. See? I'm getting some of y'all right now. Some of y'all going, man, bro, the chills, that ain't right. No. I've been in this earth too long. I know what I'm talking about now. Now. <clears throat> 
with the quantitative of a friendship, you just have to be careful with those kind of people because they're going to backstab you every time y'all get in a fight. If y'all get in a fight, will they try to resolve it or will they walk away? Ask yourself, ask yourself that question. Will your best friend try to resolve the situation or will they walk away and flip the bird? Text your friend now and ask them. Or tag or share this video with your best friend and let and ask that question to you right now. But I'm gonna end this video with this. Quality of a friendship matter more than quantitative. You can know a person for two years rather than ten years. If the two year person know you better than the ten year and they are helping you throughout any kind of circumstances that you have more than the two year and more than the ten year, I'm sorry. Why does it matter? If they're with you to the end, whether you down in the mud, you need to help, will they pick you up or will they watch you fall and see if they'll get up by yourself? Now, there's a difference between somebody letting you get up by yourself to see if you have enough strength to get up by yourself or will they just leave you there and go find another friend? There's a difference. But in my part two of this video, I will show you and, and instruct you on the differences of that. But you have to hit that subscribe button for when I drop it because I can drop it tomorrow. I can drop it in two days. You never know. So hit the subscribe button. It's going to be somewhere over here. Follow me on Instagram. My link is up there. And hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it made you think about the qualitative versus the quantitative of a friendship to make you really go like, hmm, does my friend actually care about me? Ask yourself that because if you don't do it now, 10 years down the road, you might regret it later. This is something to think about. Now, hope you guys have a great one. I will be back for part two of Friendships.